One of the most exciting things about Hannah is when she's getting ready to do a trick that she's never done before, it's a very, very good chance that no other woman in the planet has ever done that before either. You can just tell when someone's got that talent and that drive, and she's had that from a very young age. You know, just for her, like she's riding at such a high level, it's like, you know, you plan for her best run, and, and usually that's enough. Just having that person there, being Hannah of, like this is how you do it, and to like believe in me to do it, it's like gives me the extra nudge of just like, all right, like do it. Someone like Hannah, like, if she does the run she wants to do, there's a very good chance that she's gonna be in that top spot. My name's Hannah Roberts, I'm 19 years old, and I ride BMX freestyle. My name is Ryan Nyquist, and I am the coach of the USA BMX Freestyle team. Historically, our sport hasn't had coaches, but we've always kind of leaned on our friends or, you know, sometimes even competitors to, like, you know, help us with a trick or, if you know, how'd that look kind of thing and be like, oh, you know, dip your shoulder a little bit more and it might be right there. So, you know, in a sense, there are always were coaches, but there was never like an official role. It was just like you and your homies out there riding and they would give you advice. Her motivation a lot of times was just like, you know, small little bets. When I'm just so far in my own head, you know, Ryan will be like, okay, you owe me $3.83 if you don't do it. Or he'll be like, cash order. So then you have to go to the bank and it's super inconvenient. Training with Hannah and Ryan is probably the, the best case scenario. Um, there's things that she can do that I can't do. She can say it one way and it clicks with me. She had it her way. She would like literally be like, no days off. <laughs> every day we're riding, every day we're doing something, I'm progressing, I have goals. And that's the great thing about Hannah is she has so many goals. There's never like a day where she's like, I don't know what I want to do. Like she always has something that she wants to try, which is which is great. You know, which is why she's you know one of the best women in the world because she just doesn't stop. It's kind of the coach's dream, actually. We call it the nest because you just feel like the bird sounds. I started kind of just looking at the area of my land and was just like, where could I fit? Like kind of the bare minimum of like what I would need. I was like, okay, like I think I can go 24 feet wide with the two obstacles side by side at 12 foot wide each. So, and then marked off like about almost 100 feet of it and it was just like, all right. So I've been riding uh, hyper bikes and snafu parts since uh, I think October of uh, 2019. Hannah Roberts just picked up a new sponsor, Hyper Bicycles. Right before World, I got a phone call from Hyper and they put me on the Hyper and Snafu team, which was sick because that was a dream come true for me. So they sent me a bike, loved the setup, loved the feeling and stuck with it ever since. Some Snafu Jackson bars, Mayweather cranks and uh, magical forks and then going into like the wheels and stuff. I have like titanium axles, titanium spokes. I try to keep my tires around like 90 PSI, 80 to 90. And it's also like a thing in my head where as long as like if I know that there's 90 PSI then there's nothing like I can't go up on a ramp and freak out about a trick and be like oh it's because my tire is low. Like I know that it's, it's not that. So a lot of people ride their seats all the way to their frame, but I try to keep like a good hand size in there just to make it like closer to my knees so it's easier to pinch or like com more comfortable to sit on. Titanium just makes it lighter. My bike used to be like 20 pounds max, but I think this one comes in at like 23. Um, the more I go to the gym, the heavier I want my bike to be, unfortunately. Every day that I go to the gym, it's just, uh, Kind of whatever they have me scheduled for. Um, so, you know, I work with two different personal trainers because they're both, you know, athletes themselves and they can they can understand certain things. Today, you know, obviously we started with push-ups. I have shoulder trauma and issues, so uh, we had to do we have to do bar push-ups most of the time. We went to the the rows, and you know, that's just. Uh, 
I think, I mean, recently I felt like that's been helping me pump a little bit more. It's been, it's been making my arms a little bit more solid. And then we went to the exercise ball and that was for core. And then uh, the sledgehammer, that's just fun. I don't really know what it does. It's just super fun. I always wanted to do contests when I was 12 and I went to, to Canada for my first uh, professional women's contest and, and I did super well, you know, being the youngest there. You know, and even then, like meeting all the girls and, and seeing, you know, other women ride and, and, you know, seeing them kill it, like it gave me really, it, it actually like boosted my confidence a lot and that's when I really started like trying and, and putting in work and putting myself out there like more on Instagram and stuff. With COVID and everything shutting down, like obviously things changed and, uh, staying at home and you know I met amazing women and I never really thought about marriage just because it was just so far out of the question um, and then obviously wasn't in my plan at 19 but uh, we got two new puppies and we have a you know a big old dog so um, yeah life's pretty great the, the last few months have been super insane um, with with obviously training in the gym I don't honestly think I've spent a whole day away from BMX. I live and breathe BMX at the moment, and uh, you know, up and up until the Olympics, that's how it's going to be. And after the Olympics, I don't know how it's going to be, but I know that you know, every single day, there, there's no day that I stop thinking about riding. So you know, I don't have a day off when it comes to when it comes to riding. It's my life.